All right, good morning. I'm Aaron Heiser, Makers Leather Supply, and we are at the Southwest Leather Workers Trade Show. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is a, 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 a show that our company has a booth at every year, as well as lots of other vendors. So I thought maybe I'd walk you around, and I know not everybody gets to come to these shows, but kind of show you why one day you might want to. So I'm gonna flip the camera around here. And we'll start with the greatest booth at this show. There it is right there. There's the leather part of it. And there's the rest of it. Maker's Leather Supplies booth. Isn't it beautiful? It's like our tiny little store, all stuffed into one place. Justin and Doc are taking care of business. Janie had to fly home last night, so we're just doing what we do. All right, so over here, these guys are called Double K Leather out of St. Louis, Missouri. Pretty good folks, if you don't mind people from Missouri. No offense to people from Missouri that are watching this, of course. We'll walk on back. How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? Good. Making a little video here, showing people what they're missing. So this is the Timberline um, Saddle Tree Company. They have a booth here every year. I don't do saddles, but those look like good trees to me. <laughs> No, I don't TikTok. This is a YouTube video. Right here, we've got the infamous Bob Parks uh, booth. He uh, he sells his books. He has amazing work that he's done on display. Sorry, nope, y'all are good. I'm just showing Bob Parks' work to the people that watch my stuff so that they can see that I'm not actually any good at what I do. So. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah? It was something, I think it was a, a tool or, or something that you've gotten in and, yeah. and it was a quick how to use it thing. Right. Awesome. Was it the little gauge for the um, for the strap cutter? That was one of the last little tool videos I did. No, it could have been the zipper tool. I've done a little quick video on the zipper busting. That's what it was. Yeah, busting zippers. That's what it was. Yeah, that's a fun little tool. That interests me for the zipper. <laughs> Mine too. You know, I, said, I, can, I can get them in. Yeah. But will they work? Right? <laughs> exactly. You know, Every you damn time. I'll come back in a little bit, Bob. So these are the guys at Herman Oak. They don't bring any leather to sell. They just show off all their good stuff. And they just, you know, they just want people to know that they're here, unlike others. So, anyway. All right, here we have the good folks of Gallagher Leather out of California. They do some templates, kind of like we do. Most of them are directed towards horse tack and things like that. Good folks. They've got a good selection of leather at their shop as well. Here we have the Tipman Boss booth. Uh, Tipman Boss is the hand-powered machine that many, many, many leather workers start out with, to include me. That was my first machine. Then there's old Clay Miller, that guy. Clay brought a heck of a selection of tools to this show. But like everybody else, after the first day, we're like, dang, wish we brought more. <laughs> all right, and then here's where all my money goes. This is Vaughn Gators right here. All the way from, y'all actually in, yeah, y'all are actually in Florida. For some reason, I always think Louisiana. But uh, anyway, awesome gators. I sell them. He sells them. Several other people sell them. If you're going gator, go Vaughn Gator. Way better than mine. All right, so here we have the Orion Calf, calf, calf booth uh, with all the Orion dyes and stuff. I've not played with these, but results don't lie really 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 amazing stuff being done with these things yeah all right good morning so this is tray hide yes, sir. all right tray hide looks like that we have a lot of uh hair on type stuff a little bit of pre-made lots of uh hides and skins stuff like that yes, sir. So if you're interested in contacting them, you got a card or something I can zoom in on? There we go. 
So if you're looking for stuff like that, there you go. I'm putting this one in my pocket. Thank you. <laughs> Gone pack Barth over here, rocking it out with all his tools as usual. Lots of good stuff here. Over here we have the Blacklock Leather and Rich. Um, really good uh, leather conditioner, kind of help you bring back some of the, say you got some old dirty boots that you need to be clean shiny boots. Well, these guys do a great job of doing that. Uh, soon to be available at Maker's Leather Supply. <laughs> Morning. This gentleman brought lots of, it is, but it's made by DJI, the people that make drones, and it is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, no, and it's called the pocket. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I did not, but I got your husband and I did a commercial about him. <laughs> this is the lovely Miss Julie Bauer right here and her beautiful chat patterns. Hi, Julie. <laughs> How are you today? Um, Julie has a chat making school up in Washington State? Washington. Wa Ellensburg, Washington. I've heard amazing things about the students that come out of there, but with her, her the, the work she provides, I can't imagine how good uh, teaching she does as well. Um, everybody comment on this video if you think she should come to Makers and teach a class, because Erin does. I'm so, coming. I'm coming. And, and Janie says so too, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, best chat patterns there are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Over here we've got Mr. Tim Purdy of Steel Stamps. Anybody that's seen my Gorilla Stamp, this is the man that made it for me right here. SteelStampsInc.com. He makes amazing, amazing steel stamps. And I love his display. Over here is a fellow named Peter Hoffman. Sells lots of exotics and stuff. Mr. Hoffman, do you have a card or something I can zoom in on for the for folks? Don't bring business cards. You don't bring business cards. Where where are you out of? How can people get a hold of you? PeterHoffmanDesign.com. PeterHoffmanDesign.com. All right, folks. There it is. If you're looking for some nice uh, gators and ostrich and snakes, this gentleman's got some real nice ones. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, now here's what everybody's waiting for. Here's the jewelry store. This is Mr. Barry King's booth and all the shininess. No, that's a very good point. I mean, he could go to Jared, but instead he went to Barry's. <laughs> all right, over here we've got the Weaver guys. Unfortunately, they, had, they normally have a very squared away looking booth, but I think they had some transportation issues with it this time. So, morning, Jim. How are you? Anyway, but they've got some of their cool machines and stuff, which we're looking at trying to carry at our store. We just hadn't bit the bullet yet. But that thing right there, I really, really, really want. <laughs> yes, sir. Phoebings has been making some appearances at these shows, selling their dyes and showing off their new products. So, um, Phoebings can be bought at a lot of, a lot of locations. Uh, we sell it here at Makers, uh, as well as many others. Spray Gunner is one of the newer booths in the in the shows. These guys are uh, selling lots of uh, um, airbrush stuff. So they uh, they've been coming. They started at the Waco show, then they made the Wichita Falls show, and now they're at uh, Prescott as well. So they're doing great for us. Is that, is that a video? Yep, yep. All right, now here is a pretty girl, but here is Chuck Smith. <laughs> But here is Chuck Smith, a legend in his time, and after his time, and before his time. So, <laughs> Chuck Smith always comes and brings his awesome swivel knives and stuff like that. Um, you're not making stamps anymore, are you? That's kind of neat. I like that. <laughs> Thanks. But um, Chuck Smith's still rocking out in California, and uh, still one of my favorite swivel knives out of the God knows how many I own. <laughs> this is my best friend, Barb, right here. She's so pretty. Barb's, uh, Barb, we, uh, we, we talk about her a lot on our videos anytime we're doing anything with lace. Um, Barb owns Why Not Lace. Got a card somewhere? There it is. Why Not Lace. Most of the time out of Montana, but she does end up in Texas quite a bit, which is what makes her twice as cool. So, there you go. Anytime you need any kind of kangaroo lace, tools, things like that, Barb is your woman. All right, over here we've got Ron's Tools. You might recognize them from, you know, our shop. 
but uh, Ron Stools always has a very impressive booth. I've always loved this thing. I mean, I've been going to these shows for like 20 years, and this is the coolest booth ever. So he brings all his edgers and stuff like that, and uh, makes a good showing every time. Rock and Rhett Ranch does uh, lots of braiding and stuff like that, a little bit of knife making. They're here every year. Alright, this is Mr. Hockhauser right here and all his leather goods. He's got tons of really, really, really nice kid skins and kip skins, things like that. I mean, just great stuff. Okay, let's flash across here. My most favorite is people in the world, right here. Leather Machine Company, my guys. So there's Vince, Paul, and of course David. Here's the machines they have left today, but they'll all be gone by the end of the day. All the thread you could imagine, and tons of other stuff too. So they bring all their machines, they set them up on display, that way if you ever wanted to uh, look at a Cobra, but you know, afraid to buy something through the mail type thing, they're always here at these shows. And then there's this lovely couple right here, Paul and Rosa of Leather Wranglers. Some of the coolest swivel knives you ever saw, some of the most innovative other tools you ever saw, and really, really, really sharp knives. So, out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, this is almost a local show for them. <laughs> like, when we leave here, we usually hit Albuquerque right after it gets dark, and I'm like, man, Paul and Rosa are home, and I'm still driving. <laughs> All right, Bork and Sons, they're uh, making lots of uh, saddle hardware. Looks like really nice quality brass stuff. There's their information right there if you have a, a need for such a thing. Alrighty, and we're gonna move on. GRS training is always here. Uh, GRS makes uh, engraving stuff. Um, here they always have a setup of something. So bright, why you got such quality lights? There we go. A little bit better. Focusing failed. That's what the screen tells me. But anyway, you got a screen up here. This is the tiniest little camera you ever saw. It's called a it's called a DJI Pocket. It's made by the people that make the drones. And um, yeah, I love this thing. I do a lot of my yeah. Like I'm putting this on my YouTube channel. Like I do all my YouTube videos on this thing. It's amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this without permission. But this is Diane. She's amazing. I took her class a couple of years ago, and if I stuck with engraving, she would be the reason that I was a success. <laughs> um, yeah, I learned that I'm good at one thing. It's leather. I should stick with it. <laughs> All right, here we have Horseshoe Brand Tools, Jeremiah Watch Brand, uh, RanchToArena.com is their website. They've got lots of unique hardware and really nice tools. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, they make a showing here every year. It's a great booth. That's gone. All right, over here we've got Bruce Johnson's tools. Bruce takes all the old leather tools he can find, he reconditions them, makes them better than new, and does a dang good job of it. I mean, he's even got some real collector's pieces. Here's some Don King stamps, which you will just never find sitting around. Um, I've gotten a lot of old tools from him that just, they're not made anymore, and they, uh, there's a need in the market for a guy like Bruce. There's his uh, contact information in case you need anything. He also is the only authorized dealer for Juski, uh, Jusky, Wayne Jusky's stamps. Um, Wayne Jusky doesn't do a lot of shows and stuff, so Bruce represents him and brings his stamps there. Uh, Wayne's stamps are pretty expensive, but damn, they're nice. All right, over here we have Stevenson Vintage Tools and Machine, uh, kind of the same concept of, uh, as Bruce Johnson. They have amazing, amazing reconditioned old tools, lots of stuff you just can't find anymore, but yet there's still a need for it. Over here we have the Tandy booth, our good friends at Tandy. Colin's more than happy to show everything off that they uh, that they brought with them. And uh, yeah, I'd zoom in on some like contact information, but everybody knows how to get a hold of Tandy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean they should. We're not that hard to talk to. Yeah, some of these companies, I'm like, do you, do you have a card I can zoom in on? Like, I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's Tandy, Google it. No, I asked a couple of people yesterday for cards and some of them didn't even yeah, no, that, that fellow with the exotics down in the corner said the same thing. All right, Tooling Mints Custom Saddles, Cedar City, Utah. 
This is Joe right here. He also takes lots of old tools and makes them new and shiny again. And um, lots of stuff you can't find anymore. So, Joe really wants me to make him a fringe cutting template for uh, his uh, shaps. And I need to do it. I just haven't done it. But I know there's 50 people watching this video saying, Yeah, I know, Aaron. You owe me something, too. <laughs> so, there you go. Y'all are good. I'm just walking around here. All right, so over here we have American elk and deer. I actually bought a bunch of hides from them yesterday because uh, I really want to make another one of those fringe jackets and I'm still working on the pattern pack for it. So these guys are good folks. I'm zoom in on their sign there so you can see their contact information and everything. And um, they sell lots of amazing deer tans and, uh, and uh, elk hides and things like that. Over here we have Montana Leather Company. They also came to see us down in Waco. We were so happy to host them. <laughs> but uh, Montana's a Montana Leather Company, I've never heard a bad word about them. So they definitely uh, put in their time and done what they need. I'll zoom in on your sign here so people can see how to find y'all. All righty. Hope you all have a great show day, guys. This is Dr. Rayner of the Rayner, um, I don't know, glue company. Uh, anyway, this is the gentleman that invented all the uh, water-based glues and uh, contact cements and things like that. Every once in a while we have them available at Makers, but not too often. But anyway, he always brings a big showing to the, the shows. All right, folks, that's pretty much the down and dirty of it. I could spend hours telling you about all these people and their booths and stuff like that, but i got to get back to my booth because I know those other two dudes will quit if I don't. <laughs> I'll talk to you all soon.